am late for my own show. So tonight, this kicks off our weeknight series of lips. You guys make sure you say hey when you jump on. You know how this works. You say hey, I say hello back. We chat it up and have a good time on this Facebook Live. Um, that makes it all the much more fun for me and for you. Um, so this week, what we're talking about is lips, everything lips. Um, <clears throat> we're going to talk about how to change the shape of your lip. We're going to talk about how to make your lips look lush and enhanced this week. We're going to talk about how to keep them super hydrated. We're going to talk about how to know that you're wearing the right shade of lipstick for you. If you feel like your lipstick is washing you out, it very well may be. So we're going to school tonight. That's what we're doing tonight. We're making sure that you guys are wearing the right lip color. And there's a couple of things that play into part with wearing the right lip color, and I'm going to teach you about that tonight, too. So, first of all, we're going to do a little experiment, because there's actually three skin tones that we're going to talk about tonight. Um, one is a deep skin tone, so we're going to do a little experiment here. Hey, Tammy. So while we're waiting on other people to jump on, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create in parts on my face. Hey, Mary Beth, I am going to create <coughs> different shades. So listen, I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you to share this on out into Facebook world because this is value. Okay, this is going to bring value to you. This is going to bring value to others. And I'm actually going to create a little deeper of a shade of foundation than I normally wear. Thank you so much, Tammy, for being the first person to share my video. If you share it, please make sure you let me know that you shared it. So down here, and this is truly the family that I wear right here. This is called Olive, and I'm going to teach you how to determine what family of foundation you probably fall into, and we're going to do some fun face paint tonight with lipstick colors. How about that? You guys are in for a treat tonight. Maybe I need to go up a shade in foundation <laughs> because I'm kind of liking how that looks right there. I don't know. It's still too dark. I probably need a three, though. All right. So this is the foundation shade that I am in. <clears throat> now I am going to pick up a Shinto color. Let me just make sure. Yes. All right. So we're going to go with Shinto 2 on this other side. So we're going to go right through here with a totally different color. Now, here's what I want you to notice as we're doing this, because this is a little experiment that we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna throw a really dark shade up in here as well, okay? So this is the shade that I normally wear. It's darker for me. This is too dark. I'll be this by the summer. But you see how it still matches my skin tone pretty much? This, see how this looks orange on me? Okay. This is not my skin tone, but there are a lot of people. I have a lot of customers that wear this skin tone shade right here, okay? Stick it with me. Stick it with me, okay? So, not the right color for my skin, but for this experiment, we're going to leave it on, okay? Hello, Angela! All right, now let's really have fun and I'm going to throw in one of these dark shades. We have several other dark shades. These are just the ones I have thrown in this palette. So I am, for this experiment, I am going to pick up, let's see. I'm going to pick up this shade, okay? And I am going to apply it here in the middle of my forehead, Oh, I'm getting y'all's attention now. Okay. All right. Well, let's grab a bobby pin. What in the world would I do without bobby pins in my desk drawer? I don't even know. All right, so let's grab a bobby pin. Because I want you guys to be able to see this as I explain it. Okay. 
everybody look at your wrist right now. Look at your wrist and look at your veins and look at the color of your veins. I want you to drop down below. I want you to drop what color your veins are in the comments down below. Mine are kind of a, a blue green, believe it or not. More green, I think, than blue. I'm gonna go back to this and add a little bit more here, okay? So you guys stay with me. I'm looking a little funky here for you guys. All right, Tammy says hers are blue. Mine are green. You guys keep dropping your comments down below. Look at your wrist and tell me what color your veins are. You may have to hold them up to the light. This is a really cool experiment we're doing right here now, okay? Really cool. So blue, blue. Got several blues so far. Blue. Dan, I would know that to be true for you for sure. What color? Green with a slight blue. I would say that's true for you, Angela. Who else? Come on, you guys. There's a lot of you on here watching. I want to know when you look at your veins, what color do you see? Do you see blue? Do you see green? What do you do? And then we're going to do an experiment. And while you guys are waiting to comment, I'm actually going to kind of divide my face out here. I'm going to get funky with it tonight, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are just joining. Y'all are like, what's happening right now? What is happening? Stick with me, I'm going to tell you. So look at your veins. And drop in the comments down below what color your veins are. Are they green? Are they blue? Are they blue-green? <clears throat> Alright, and I need to do one other thing because I want to lock this in place so that you guys can truly see. As my husband walks by, I'm sure he's like, what? <laughs> Make sure you wash your face before you go to bed tonight, Lisa. Oh, and then the mirror died. Hold on, let me get plugged up. Let me get plugged up while the rest of you are dropping your comments down below what color your veins are. I don't know. They're in there somewhere. All right. I know, right? All right. Here we go. Let me add a little powder because I want to lock this into place. I don't want it to be sliding all over my face, which it doesn't normally do, but with Anyway, just my technique. Okay. All right. Are you ready? All right. So, for those of you that said you had blue, since the majority of you said that you have blue veins, we're going to start with you, okay? Blue veins, you're going to be more of my fair-skinned people. Blonde hair, blue eyes, could have dark hair, but you're more of my light tone people, okay? Could have dark hair, but your fit, your skin, nine times out of ten, is going to be on the fair side, okay? You are going to look, if you want to go bold with a lip, you're going to go with, da-da-da-da, you're going to go with this. You're going to go with the bright reds. Kind of hard to do this in the mirror, you guys. Look how pretty that looks over here. <laughs> that heart got way... Kind of hard to do this. But let me show you this. Doesn't... Just stick with me. This is not going to be the right color for this shade person, okay? Looks really good over here. Nice, pretty red. So you're going to be cherry red. You're going to be my rose-colored girls. So ruby chocolate is going to be... Um, yeah, you're being, you're being really um, funny because you're blonde hair, blue-eyed, fair skin all the way around. All right, ruby chocolate. 
is going to be smashing on you. Look how pretty that is against that skin tone, okay? Hi, Carla. Thank you for saying hey. <laughs> All right. Then, um, violets, pinks, corals, okay? So, let's pick up angel food and see how angel food looks here. Really pretty. Not washed out looking at all. Really? So you can tone it down with a little concealer if you want to. All right, let's see. Mocha colors are going to be pretty on you. So let's grab Moon Pie and let me show you how Moon Pie looks. This would be really pretty. And this is going to scare some of you that have really... Um, fair skin, but this would be a mocha color that I would wear maybe out for evening wear, but look, look how pretty. So that's going to be pretty on you. <clears throat> um, let's see, something rosy. Let's go for this on you. Believe it or not, this may be a little out of your comfort zone. Look how pretty. That's really pretty on people with fair skin. That is weird. Mine are blue and I have black hair. Not fair skin. Maybe my veins are confused. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We can keep going with creme brulee. Creme brulee. Creme brulee, so pretty, so pretty. And Deanna, I think that creme brulee, did we try creme brulee on you maybe when you were here? Those are gonna be some really pretty colors. And then you're gonna get into like wedding cake. And wedding cake is going to be, where we wanna do wedding cake? We wanna do red wedding cake here. Do you see how that's kind of a... Okay. Very tribal looking. Okay. <laughs> okay, see? I'm hitting on something here. I've got you guys going. All right. Let's move over here to this because I want to show you how important this is. So, if you're more warm skin tone... So that means that you're going to have, like when you look at your veins, they're going to be more green. They might have a bluish green tint to them. So Mary Beth, this may really be where you fall into this category. Um, you can always send, send a picture and I can look. Um, but warm skin tone, warm colors. This is more my golden girls. This is more of... Um, uh, like, I've got a couple of customers who just, they tan. Most of the time, you guys tan like this. So, secret to bad red bruise. Okay, I'll teach you that in just a second. I'll come back to that, okay? So, let's just say that um, in, in, in fair skin girls, my, my cool skin tone girls, that's this side, you're going to be the girls that burn usually. Either you burn, burn, burn all the time, or you burn when you go out into the sun the first time or two, and then after that, you kind of start to tan. But my warm skin tone girls, you are my girls with my green veins, blue to green veins. There you go, Tina. Tina, I think you are probably more in the cool family than the warm family. Um, but you guys just get dark. <laughs> like, you go out in the sun one time, and then you're like, look at me. Look at my color. I'm darker than you. While I'm over here sporting the White Legs of the Year Award, okay? So, you're going to wear, not red, but you're going to wear this orangey red color, right? So, watch this, because I want you to see. Yes, Carla. I want you to see. Okay. This looks so orange to me in this tube. Do you guys see that? 
But when I put it on this skin tone, this foundation color, with this, look how beautiful that is. Look how it washed this out. So when you talk about wearing the right lip color and it washing people out, that's why. Because they're wearing a skin tone, or they have a skin tone, and they're wearing the wrong shades of lipstick on it, and it is totally doing nothing for them. You might as well not even wear a lipstick. So how cool is that? Like, that is so pretty to me on that skin tone. All right, so you're going to be my orangey red girls. You're going to be my orange girls. So look at this. This is salted caramel. One of my favorite colors to wear with, like, denim and blue jeans. And I'm going to come right across this. Look how pretty that is. Oops, well, I don't know what you wore today. No, you sent me a picture today, and it was amazing. You did look amazing. All right, so you are going to be my brick reds. So let me find my brick reds in here. Probably, oh, and plums and rose. Watch this. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Really hard to draw backwards. Look how pretty that is. All right. Then, let's see. Tangerines, coppers. Let's look at Coco Teeny here. Let's look at Coco Teeny. Very, very, very pretty there. Wait until I get up here, you guys. I'm going to blow your mind. Yes, Carla. It definitely, so you do wear a lot of burgundy. Yes. So, here we go. This is berry cocoa, and I bet this is smashing on you. Are you ready? Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is, you guys. I want to be this skin tone so that I can make that color pop on my lips. <laughs> All right. Rich nude colors. You guys are actually in the family to pull off the very rich, 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 rich nude colors. Watch birthday cake right here on you. Well, it's getting in my hair. Now, it's a nude, keep in mind, so it's supposed to be like that. Mary Beth, you love coppers. Yes. Yes, 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 you guys. All right, chocolate ganache. This is another one that's super dark, but looks really good on this skin tone. You guys can pull off a lot of stuff, too. All right, who can pull this off? Are you ready? I want you to look at this. Where are my rich skin girls? Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Where are... Where are my rich skin tone girls? You can go from one extreme to the other. You can do the bright, beautiful stuff like this. But watch this. I was so excited to show y'all this. All right. Pink... I can show you this one too. You can pull off this. You can pull off. Where are my, um, well, you can definitely do the cherry pie, okay? So you definitely can do the bright reds. <laughs> you said no wonder you don't wear pink. <laughs> um, you can do la, 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 la. You can do some neat... Well, let me show you this. I got to show you this. Hold on. I wasn't going to go into these colors quite tonight. But can I just show you this? Where are my coral girls? Now, you guys can do coral too. Look at that. That's very pretty over here too. This... Can y'all see that? <laughs> Can you see that? Can you see my face? 
and what I'm doing. That's really pretty as well. Y'all, I can sit here and play in colors all night long. Like, this is really pretty to me. And a wine color. Let's find a pretty wine color. Um, Did I do? Did I do? Sugar plum. Let's do for you guys. Let's do this. <laughs> we getting all up in here, y'all. All right. Look at that. <laughs> Tammy says she took a picture to send me. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. That is super pretty on dark skin girls. Where are y'all got to be sharing this video? This is probably the craziest video that I've ever done, but it's honestly, I'm having a good time. You guys have got to share this so that we can help the world know what their lip colors need to be, okay? Because probably half the world's wearing the wrong color lipstick, right? Right? All right, nudes. You guys can still pull off the nudes, so let's see how Ruby Chocolate looks up here. Boom, right here, boom. Oh, girls, oh, girls. Look at that, look at that. Y'all, if you wanna know the names of any of these, you wanna know what colors look best for you, then the best thing to do is let me color match you so we get you the perfect foundation color that's right for you. Um, but if you're not interested in the foundation part, then guess what? We can sit here and pick out lip colors. Like, I can pick out all the lip colors in the world for you and make sure that you have the right colors. We wanna make sure that you're wearing the right color red if you're a red lipstick girl. And listen, I've never been. Like, I have never been a red lipstick girl. Tammy, I love you. Thank you so much. Um, but red has grown on me since I have figured out the right color red for my skin tone. There you go. This is so much fun. I declare, y'all, it is so much fun. So, three skin types. Either you're fair skin and you fall into my cool skin category, or you are in my warm skin um, category, or you're in my dark, deep shade category. I got three different categories for you. We can figure out where you fit, and then we can get you the right color lip shades. So... Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to issue a challenge to you guys. You got to share, share, share this video, okay? I am begging you, share this video. Let people laugh at me. Let me make a fool of myself. But they're getting value from this video. So go ahead and share this out there into the world. And listen, for every 20 tubes of lipstick, of any lipstick that I sell, every 20 tubes... I am going to let someone dump a bucket of ice cold water on my head. We're going to bring back the ice water challenge. We're going to do it. I hate cold water. I just want you to know. So I'm really sacrificing here. But for every 20 tubes of any color lipstick that we sell now through Friday, now through Friday, so if you need to wait until payday, that's all good. We can wait until payday. For every 20 shades sold, I'm going to let someone dump a bucket of water on my head. I don't even care who it is. You can be one of my VIP customers. Tammy can come all the way from where she lives, and she can be the one that dumps water on my head. If you want to dump water on my head, Tina, I'll let you come dump it on here. Come right here in my front yard. I'm going to have a big old bucket. And for every 20 tubes sold, <laughs> somebody's going to get to ice, ice, a baby me. Okay? That's what we're doing. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna be back with more lip color techniques. I'm gonna teach you how to make your lips hydrated. I'm gonna teach you how to get the dead skin off. I'm going to teach you how to make your lips bigger 
or smaller, depending on what you need to do there. So we're going to talk about all things lips the rest of probably until Wednesday night, okay? All right, you guys. I hope this has been fun. Share, share, share this video. Believe me, I want everybody in the world to see this video and learn all about their skin tones. Think about people that um, are fair skin. Think about people that get dark during the summer. Um, Carla, I will message you after this, okay? Um, if you, so, and if you have dark skin, think about people who have dark skin because, hello, like we have a ton of different shades. These three I just happen to have right here close by. But look how these colors just made that just pop and made it beautiful. All right, you guys, here's what I'm going to do as I end this up. Tomorrow is an important day for us at Lime Life. I have to count to 10. Somebody count to 10 while I'm talking. Somebody count to 10 for me. Let me know when 10's up. Okay, so tomorrow we launch. Message you about the bruise. Oh my gosh, no, let me show you real quick. If you have a bruise that is, and I can do it with red right here. Hold on while this sits. Tomorrow is a very important day for Lime Life. Tomorrow we launch all of our skincare. Um, all right, hold on. We launch all of our summer skincare line. So our two lip balms with SP, well, one has SPF 30 in it. One is like a melon color um, that's gorgeous. The other one um, is, <laughs> Tina said 10 is done. <laughs> the other thing is our skincare sunscreen. Y'all, it took two years for us to formulate this skincare sunscreen, body sunscreen. It took us two years to formulate it for it to be absolutely perfect. Our people wanted something that would go on, that would not be... Um, that would not be like leave white residue all over, but a mineral base. I'm totally blowing this out the water, aren't I? Um, so see, you don't have to be perfect to be a beauty guide, but <laughs> let me get this out. So the sunscreen SPF 30, you can cover your whole body with it, is a mineral base, paraben free, chemical free sunscreen that is going to be like magic. It is going to be like magic. And so, you guys um, are going to have an opportunity to get that tomorrow. The other thing that I'm super excited about, and it took us a good while to get this one formulated too, is our um, new cool balm. It's called Afterburn Gel. It's clear. It's not sticky. It's going to replace all those green bottles of aloe in your closet, let me just tell you. Um, because... It is going to take away the hurt. It is going to take the sunburn and help it sink in. And it's going to help prevent you from peeling. And it's a big old bottle for like 28 bucks. Like, I am so stoked about that coming tomorrow that I don't know what to do. We have some bundles. We have some money-saving prices that I can give you. But protect yourself into the sun because y'all look up how many cancer cases a year are from skin cancer. It is mind-blowing. All right, this is what I've got for you guys tonight. I want to show her real quick that if you have red, like a red, it's a red bruise or it's a um, purple bruise. I guess it doesn't really matter because I can use either one. All right, let me show this to you, and then I'm going to take this off. I'm going to add a little powder so that it's more bruise-like than, than lipstick-like, but that's a big old area, right? Okay. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to make sure that you have concealer one so it's red. Okay. You want to make sure that you have concealer one. What skin tone are you, Angela? Do you wear, what color foundation do you wear? Red, red, red. Okay. You're going to use our green. And hold on, I need a new one. I need a new one. Concealer. You know, one of those are concealer one. I hope that I have not let myself run out of concealer one. I may have to place an emergency order 
with expedited shipping tonight if I have. But I have enough in here to do this. Okay. Concealer one. You are literally going to take concealer one. You're going to go in. Because green offsets red, you're going to go in with concealer one, and you're going to kind of press into your arm like this. He's light. Okay, concealer one is still going to work. Concealer one is probably really and truly the only thing that is going to cut through red. Yep, got to have concealer one. Okay, which is the green tinted one, okay? See how this is, well, I probably smeared it in my brush now. Hold on, I don't have a lot of concealer one, so I'm trying to make this work. Like, look, look how low on concealer one I am. <laughs> Yes, you definitely can use some good, some green eyeshadow to offset it. Let me grab a palette with some green. Da, 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 da. All right, and I would probably use, yeah, that's working really well. So I'm using this one, which is the olive one. The camouflage one, going in and coloring it. You're really gonna need the the concealer one. I have um I have a video where I colored a red and purple one that I can send to you. That's helping, but y'all, I gotta place an emergency order. So. Um, that's only $24 if you want to get in on my bulk order tonight, being that I need a green concealer like crazy really fast. Um, let me know because I'm your girl. I'm going to place a bulk order. But I have a video where I did my eyes in the red and the purple and then showed you how to do that. And I mean, that isn't bad. That's covering it, but I just need more green concealer, okay? Green is going to be the true thing that offsets it. Now, let me show you this because I sprayed that spray for 10 seconds. Da 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 da. Oh yeah, we got it going on now. <laughs> That's a whole lot of colors on there. A whole lot of colors, you guys. You are so welcome. All right, are you ready? <laughs> she said nice. <laughs> In one wipe. In one wipe, it's going to all go away. Because this is literally the best makeup remover in the world. The best makeup remover in the world. Just like that, I am back to normal. <laughs> I went from purple back to my normal little self. <laughs> All right, don't forget, we have an amazing sale going on tomorrow night. Spring launch products are down. We have bulk orders. We have, this is going to save you shipping if you're local. Um, we have um, bundles that save you money. And that happens tomorrow at 3 o'clock. If you need a lipstick shade, don't hesitate to drop me a message down below. Let's talk shades. I'll be up for quite a while. And guess what, you guys? For every 20 we sell, so if we sell 40, I'm going to let two different people 
do the ice bucket challenge on Facebook Live. You got three pictures. Send them to me. Yes, it takes off the waterproof stuff. It is amazing. It is amazing. All right, you guys. I've got to get on a team Zoom call with my girls. They're probably waiting on me. Um, but you guys can message me up. I'll be up for quite a while. All right. Love to you all. I'll be back tomorrow night. Come hang out with me. Don't forget to please share this. It means more to me than you will ever know if you share this video and get it out there to help someone else that needs this value in their life. Love you all. Bye.